Hello everyone. My name is Frank McIntyre. This is my partner, Cope. This is my partner, Lawrence Keener. Our project is Ad Hoc Peer Peer Networking on the Android platform. Our advisors were Dr. Young Jun Young, Dr. Sophia Narayana, and our client was the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey. The problem that we worked to solve was that mobile devices, uh, software and services that run that rely heavily on pre existing infrastructure, either Wi Fi access or uh, cell tower uh, with, with one of the many providers, such as AT&T or Sprint. And without this infrastructure in place, most of the services and applications are unusable. And there's a lot of scenarios where this infrastructure either isn't in place or it's been degraded, such as remote or rural areas or in uh, disaster zones or combat zones where they may be destroyed or degraded to the point where they're just unusable. Our solution was to establish direct communication between uh, phones that we were working on. Um, we we're going to make an ad hoc network where uh, this is a concept here. This picture shows a concept. Each device on the network works as an end device and also a router. So each device will forward the uh, data or messages in this case to any device on the network. And once we have this network in place, we want to develop an instant messaging application on top of it so that we can completely bypass uh, either Wi-Fi access or the cell tower so that you don't need any kind of infrastructure in place to communicate between your phones. So our project greatly relied on a lot of different open source projects. We finally found one that we liked, and that's ad hoc on Android. And what we had to do is expand on the great First of all, we had to get it to work. What they had, they gave us a library so the actual protocols for it worked, but the application was pretty much garbage. That meant that we had to finish it, make sure that it wouldn't crash right in the middle of the sentence because that was kind of pointless. If you're texting back and forth, and you can't see what the other one person said because your application crashed. We fixed that, got it to where some of the bugs were out of it, and then we upgraded it to where it could actually be used on different devices. Before, it was only able to be used on one or two different devices. Now we found that by adding a signage mod to it, it gave us access to where we can make it to where it was expanded to 24 different. That means that a lot more people, a lot more different types of homes would actually be able to use it. That's obvious how that would be useful. Once we got it actually working, we tested it because we knew that from one phone to another it worked, but the three phones, that was the actual catch. That was, we want to see if the routing protocol worked. So we found out that yes, this phone can talk to this phone, but if you had a third phone, it can actually forward to the third phone, which means with these devices having a range of about three to 400 feet each, if you had three phones, you can extend that range to 800 feet. What we learned in this, first of all, is Android development. We came in with a little bit of Java and more Java, but we had to learn a lot more on the Android, which luckily incorporates some Java, but there's a lot more to it. Also, that porting applications to multiple devices it is not as easy as it necessarily seems. Sure, they're all using Android, but that's about all that it has in similarity. Everything behind the scenes is actually quite different, so we had to try to overcome those obstacles. Teamwork and coordination between networking and programming. This was a really big thing because Frank's expertise in networking and mind work and programming, but individually that's really not going to help because if I knew how to write a program, I still didn't know how to write the networking protocol, so that would kind of really ruin the the whole idea, so we had to cooperate a lot. And this, this was a really good learning experience there. And then time and project management. This wouldn't have gotten done without the time and project management. We had to go through several iterations. We tried different open source codes. We tried to actually build the whole thing from scratch. And we had to make sure that we managed things properly in order to meet the date. If you'd like to know more, if you'd like a demonstration, or if you have some questions for us, we'll be in room 156. I'd like to thank you all for being here.